Good afternoon and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel on March the 21st. This is Cricket's Kids. They have never been up on the bed. I'm watching to see who's going to try it first. They're debating. Um, this is the first time they have seen a Corunda bed. My other dogs are all used to them. They just came to the house this week and they're not, oh, they're first one up on the bed. How about that? That's pretty cool. That's the boy. That's the dark one. And they're kind of not sure about everything just yet. Um, first time out here with toys. And he says, oh, I think I can do this again. He says, up, oh, I'm up. He says, oh, how do you get off this thing? Never done it. Oh, that's, I think he's got a green collar on if I'm, oops, he says, oops, that's not the way to do it. Whoop, made it. So I did some waits for you. It's after five, everybody's gone. I was gonna wait till tomorrow and I thought, no, it's supposed to rain. So I'm gonna try and cram a couple of these litters in tonight so we can get videos before we have the junky weather. It is so pretty here today. Oh, 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 look at there, we got two up. The little female says, I think I can. I think, I, yeah, there she made it. There she made it. Now dismount probably won't be pretty. Nope, and not too bad. Once they discover these beds, they love them. I absolutely love these. I'll tell you, these are probably close to 10 years old. Um, they're guaranteed for the life of the dog. And this one is the only one that has an injury. That little corner has a little tiny tough spot that one of my adult dogs had just enough of a crease there. They chewed a hole in it about four years ago and nobody's ever bothered it since. I love these things. Uh, they're expensive, so don't choke when you go to the, the site. If you just type in Corunda dog beds, they make different covers. These are the commercial covers. Uh, a lot of uh, shelters and dog pounds use these. Um, they don't hold water. They, um, you can wash them, they drain right off. So they're awesome, they really are. But the dogs love them. They either play hide and go seek under them or they play king of the hill and it becomes a great source of noise in the, in the garage when they're all arguing of somebody goes under and their tail's sticking out, somebody else is gonna grab that tail and try and pull them back out. So, oops. But, um, so I did some weights for you. So let me zoom out because otherwise I can't look at them and do this at the same time. Uh, the buff colored female out here is who over there on the right all by herself coming towards me. She is two pounds, 13.5. I think she will make three pounds by the time they're due to go in and be spayed and neutered. Um, it's iffy. My vet, if they're really small, she usually won't do it. But um, the boys in here, I am going to have done. So the male, which is the buff male that I love, he's the green collar trying to get up on the bed right now. He is three pounds, 2.5. Absolutely big enough. Males are super easy to do. Females are a little tougher. That's why she likes them to be a little bit heavier. Uh, the dark colored male out here is the one that's going under. Nope. He's one behind the little tyke's slide. There he is. He's back there around the corner. Listen to the dog's bark. He has three pounds, two ounces. He is being neutered also. Um, the female, which is the dark one with a little neon pink collar. She's right there. The farthest. Never mind. She's all by herself on the right of the toy. You can see her little butt sticking out there. The male has decided to get on top and growl at her. All right, so she's the only one left over there, and of course you can't see her right now. Uh, she weighs 2 pounds, 11 ounces. I doubt if she will be able to be done. The other female is, is iffy, but I think we can. So I just kind of want to give you a heads up. If they're not being done, they can go home on the, the day they hit eight weeks old or any time thereafter. But, um, and my vet is leaving town again, which is just irritating as all get out. Um, so she's going to be gone from the first part of May till the end. I'm sorry, the first part of April till the end of uh, the 5th of May, I think is when she's coming back. It's almost a whole month. Um, I don't know where she's going. I hope she has a good time, but it's tough when you, uh, I don't blame her. I mean, she's my age. She's been a vet her whole life. Uh, husband's gone. He died a few years ago and she works her butt off. So she is now showing uh, field trial dogs. She has golden retrievers and she trains 
And as of this spring, she had um, second top dog in the U.S. So she's done really good with it. And I know she likes to beat the pants off the guys she competes with because there's not very many women doing field trials. So all these guys are doing super good. Uh, they had a bath yesterday. Toenails were cut today. They're all in the house with me. Um, actually, Cricket dried up on her own and there really wasn't any weaning involved. She, they weren't still nursing. So they all came to the house at the same time. Whoop, that was not a good dismount. <laughs> Um, so they're in the house with us. We are doing cottage cheese every morning in a separate little bowl. And I suppose we put about three tablespoons in there and then between the four of them, they clean that up. We probably will increase that as their appetite increases, uh, probably about a tablespoon or two per puppy. Uh, they are on their vitamins. They're doing great with that. Uh, they're doing great with clipper desensitization, desensitization, how, yeah, okay desensitizing let's go that route and so I really 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 st stress the fact that um, even if you just go buy a pair of junky Walmart clippers even if you're not going to groom your own dog spend 25 bucks or 35 bucks and get something that you can um, I would desensitize them to hair dryers because oops she went clear up on her nose she ran into the fence um, even if you're not going to groom your own dog, you inevitably will give it a bath. Um, so if you teach them to, to let you use a hair dryer on them, they're not gonna mind what they have done at the groomers. The same thing with bathing, you know, give them a bath at home, um, rub them really dry. If it's cool weather, teach them to use the hair dryer before you start giving them a bath so they don't uh, freak out on you and turn into Cujo. But if you hold it way back away from them and just let, it hear, let them hear it run. Oh, there she goes up the slide. I guess we've got quite a bit of a shadow in there, don't we? It's hard to see them. Um, they'll get to where they don't care. And if you don't use some type of a clipper on them, even if you teach them to let you take the hairdryer eventually and lay it on the side of the hairdryer where the heat's blowing away from them and just rub their back with the side of the hairdryer so they feel the vibration and they hear the noise. People that don't do something with them for de to desensitize them, once they go to a groomer, they just freak out and it makes it so stressful on the dog. A lot of times they'll defecate on the table just because they're so afraid. And it doesn't take much for you to keep them desensitized to things like the noises and the blowers and a pair of clippers. Um, and you still wanna make, you know, um, groom them somewhat at home yourself so kind of keep that in mind also set them up on a table or a counter hang on to their collar and brush them once a week that way she says oh my feet are slipping there's no little oh she made it this side has little bumps on it so they have kind of a little bit of a step the other side is just all slick and they slide right down it but they have done super super good um this is Cricket's second litter of puppies, and I have always, always liked her puppies. They're great little fuzzballs. This is the female on the fence right there underneath me, and the male, buff male, is on the, on the bed. He's going to jump off. He says, oh, I don't know if I can. <laughs> it's funny, before they learn to jump, lots of times they'll flip over, fall on their face. It takes them a little bit to get coordinated. They're having a good time out here this afternoon. Oh, they're discovering me standing here. That's a little dark colored male, and the little female dark one is coming up on the other side. Oh, they are strictly on dry dog food. I do not feed canned dog food whatsoever. Please don't put stuff on their food to soften it. Please do not feed them canned dog food. Have you ever heard the expression? Oh, that was not a good dismount. Uh, kill them with kindness. That's kind of what dog food in a can does. It is not good for them. You think you're being nice to them and you're kind of give them a little treat with a scoop full of canned dog food on their food. No, that's not a good thing to start because then they're going to find out they can buffalo you. And, oh, you're not going to put the canned dog food on my food tonight? Well, then I won't eat. And tomorrow when they look at the bowl, I'm not eating. I know if I hold out, you'll put it on there. And usually people give in. 
please don't give in. Mother Nature will not let them starve. So if that food's sitting on the floor and it's dry and they walk over and look at it and walk away, just ignore it. I don't care if they go four days. They are going to eat their dog food. The only reason that they don't is people screw them up. So they're used to dry dog food. They eat free choice. I would highly suggest continuing free choice, which means when they're in their crate, which should be 50% of the day, they should have access to food and water in their crate. Um, people are going to say, oh, I can't housebreak that quick, or I can't housebreak them that way. You're not going to housebreak these guys at this age at all for months. You can get them in the habit of going out. You can get them on a routine of about every hour and a half out the door. They have a smaller bladder. They have a smaller uh, hold time before they have to potty. And every time they wake up, they're going to piddle in about the first 15 minutes. So if you get them used to going out the door about every hour and a half, um, you'll get them in the idea that, and they won't want to potty in their kennel. But for the first two weeks, please just let them get used to you, your house, your, you know, get them on a schedule. Uh, I know it's tempting to have them out with you all day, but truthfully, you'll regret it if you do that. Uh, you've got to get a schedule set up, get them used to their crate. <clears throat> They're used to a 5x10 kennel here. He says, oh, I think I can make it. I think I can. That side's the slide. I love it when they think they can get up there. Oh, he says, I'm going to make it. Yay, he made it. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, so... I mean, be kind to yourself and kind to the dog. Get it on a schedule. It's fine to play with it, hold it. Don't let it sleep on your lap. Don't let it sleep on the floor in the cute little bed by the fireplace and have one of those fireside moments. Put it in the kennel. Let it learn that, oh, this is a great place. This is my house. And you'll find that when they get older and the crate door is open and they're tired, they'll go get in bed. Once they learn your family's schedule and they're tired at the end of the day, they'll go get in their bed unless they're used to sleeping on the couch or in your bed. And it's fine to let them sleep in your bed, but don't do it till after they're a year old. Get them house trained first. Realistically, you are looking at least eight months old to have these guys to be able to trust them. And that's not 100%, that's possibly by eight months old. You may tell somebody, oh, they were house trained by five months old. No, that's you that knows when they're gonna potty. That's not the dog telling you it's got to go to the door. So anyway, that's my dog food or my dog food and potty lecture <laughs> and crate lecture. But do buy them a crate that's at least 36 inches long. Please don't get them a tiny crate because it's a tiny puppy. Make it 36 inches long. That way when you're not home, they'll go in the back of that kennel and they'll go to the potty. And the other thing is don't don't make yourself not go do family things with this dog. It can be fine for eight hours in that crate. It's got food, it's got water, it's got a toy that you put in there before you left. Go do whatever you need to do. Enjoy your family on the weekend. The dog will be fine when you get home. So, whoop, down it goes. Um, if you have not booked in for puppy pickup, if you want to call me, uh, especially on the boys, I can tell you the dates we're going to get them neutered and possibly the one female, I'll leave that up to the vet. The little female, I don't think she'll do. So um, that one can go home at eight weeks old. I know you're going to cry, aren't you? I'm not going to pick you up. Um, so if you have any questions, please feel free to call me as always. Um, they're doing super good. And I'm trying to scan over there and let you see this one. They're always coming back over. So I hope you've enjoyed their video. And we'll see many of you soon. Whoops, he says, I'm going up. She says, I'm going to follow him. Oops, down they come. If you are getting one of these puppies and you have not joined... There is a, web, a Facebook page called Windy Hill Puppy Parents. It's a great place to go. I would say 90% of our clients post there. You can ask questions there. You can talk to them about you know, us. If you're thinking about a puppy and you want to 
um, know a little bit more about us, you can also go to my Facebook page for Windy Hill Kennel. And um, you can join that Facebook page, but I honestly don't have time to do a lot of posting. I'm going to try this summer, but uh, Windy Hill Puppy Parents is very active, and all those people that post on there have been here or had their puppies shipped to them. So have a great day. It's a beautiful day today. I hope you got out and enjoyed the sun if it was nice in your area. And God bless. Have a safe week. We'll talk to you later.